the best of the Bill and Corey Show. Little guy here, you want to, this is our pure gas line. Um, and this will handle 20 liters a minute, I believe. Sort of reminds me of, uh, not in the same vein, but uh, the water softener I have at the house. Where, you know, it's it's, it's kind of, you know, it's softening the water. It's not really filtering, but it's adding stuff yeah, to yeah. it. But, yeah, so it's... A, yeah, this is, I think, a triple trap. handles... Uh, yeah, indicating triple oxygen, moisture, hydrocarbons, yeah. or, or HCs, as they call yeah. them. So this won't handle a high... As you can see, this is not going to handle a high no, flow. No. So if they have, like, a two-inch pipe, mm -hmm. it's not going to work. For no. Them, so. And it's to take already very clean gas to even cleaner gas. It's not going to magically take really dirty gas yeah. And, yeah. and clean it, you know. So right, if you get really dirty gas, you're not going to, you're going to chew up media real fast. <laughs> yeah, you're not you gonna... want another system that purifies. Yeah, yeah, so this is to make we get, we clean get... gas cleaner. Yeah, clean gas, clean gas cleaner. Yeah. Speaking of clean or not clean, I'll... it's a, we're going to so... squeeze oh. in. We had a, oh, what is it? Oh, what is it? Uh oh, he's breaking out the gloves. Yeah, I have to break out the gloves for uh -oh, this. Uh oh, uh oh. Um, it's not because it's ultra pure. It's, you, that you know, it's not <laughs> that. Two, two, two reasons why you want to wear gloves. One is to keep your equipment from getting contaminated by the oils on your skin. Or to keep your hands from getting contaminated <laughs> by the... <laughs> Try to filth on it. So <laughs> we occasionally get uh, systems like that. People send equipment back to us and say, hey, I, want, I need this reconditioned. Mm -hmm. Send it back on an RMA. Oh, and, reconditioned. Yeah, uh, and we got. Let me grab that for you and no, bring it up. No, because you don't have gloves on. <laughs> You're right. I don't. We're going to ruin. On. We're going to probably ruin. I was going to. No, desk. I was going to bring the whole red. I was going to bring the no, whole thing. This is, over. So this is a customer ordered, and it really isn't that old. A switch over with, and they wanted to put their own flex hoses on. This is actually uh, it's supposed to be stainless steel braiding on here, so it's a little, it's a little dark. So I don't think they were using this inside a laboratory. Uh, what the? So that, that two short hoses, and sometimes people order them. They want to supply their own hoses. Yeah, which is fine. That's yeah, fine. No big deal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is uh, like I said. I don't think used in a lab. They're missing a relief valve that goes there. Outlet fitting. That's fine. They don't have the outlet fitting. So what happens, Bill, if there's no relief valve on there? Does it? <laughs> <laughs> well, we would probably put one in there or something. But that one of the issues here. That the reason why I'm bringing it up on the show is not just someone wants to refurbish yeah. things. It's that the, the fittings that they put, if they order without hoses, they're just going to get maybe, I think, just an elbow on mm -hmm. the inlet. Mm -hmm. They put on their own uh, piping stuff, and they have a little hex, stainless steel hex nipple in there. Yeah. That looks like it's rated to cylinder pressure. Yeah. Then they've got these elbows. I would call them weatherhead elbows. It's kind of like this. You're talking uh, about those squared off? Yeah, squared off. Yeah. Um, they're great elbows. They are pretty, I mean, they are pretty but, good elbows. But, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I have elbows. <laughs> but the, the experience, I don't know the pressure rating on this, but the experience I have with weatherhead elbows is the brass ones are rated to 1,000 PSI, mm -hmm. which isn't close to cylinder pressure. Mm -hmm. You're talking over 2,000. And it looks like this, this is a CJ346 adapter on here or something that adapts to the I mean, fitting, and it looks like they brazed it on here. I don't know about this tube thing either. So I know that most likely this isn't rated to cylinder pressure. This does. This looks like a piece of tubing or something. I'm going to say, know. unfortunately, we can't I don't know if that's rated. This might be rated. What our customers that. put in there, but always use things that are rated to the proper pressure if you're ever going to put them on. Correct. Yeah, yeah you want to, when you're adding something to your system, you want to check the pressure rating. Mm -hmm. for, and you, you can tell our stuff is uh, labeled with pressure ratings on there. So it says 3,000. So if it says 3,000, then you want to say, hey, um, and a good rule of thumb is anything brass above quarter inch, you want to double check it because yeah. brass brass can get low, you know, pressure ratings on Correct. brass can get lower. Yeah, yeah. some fittings yeah. Yeah. in brass at half inch are only rated to like 2,500. Yeah. You really need to rate rated higher than that. So, uh, so it's just something to be cognizant about. Yeah. And the, the dirt, we can clean the dirt off. That's oh, yeah, problem. yeah. It's the dirt, fact yeah. that it's... No, I mean, yeah, you're going to have dirt in places. And, yeah. Takes, uh, you should take some helium and, and blow it <laughs> off and blow it off with the helium. Okay. 
It'll float. It'll float the. It'll float off. Float the dirt in the air. <laughs> oh, so it's filthy. Don't worry, I'll clean the table later. So, um, <laughs> I'm hoping I get my shirt too dirty. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The next question. I don't know. It's another modified regulator question. Uh, somebody called and wanted to have a eight millimeter Legris fitting on Legris. the outlet of the. Pr- I don't know. I don't know. I'm just. I'm just trying. Legress. I'm just trying to pronounce it it just like you. Legress. Legress. I mean, it is. It is a. uh, It is a uh, proper noun, so it does not follow phonetics. You can say. You can tell them how. You know, can pronounce any way you want. Okay, got it. And you just did. I just did. This is a question Mm -hmm. for Corey. So you want to tell us about the? So these are these are push to connect fittings. Typically, they're about 150 psi g max, and it's just a you know just a plastic tubing and. Yeah, here we go. I have one in here. See, you take your quarter inch plastic tubing, push it in, it connects it, and I think you push it in to disconnect it. Yeah, you have to push the ring. You have to push the ring. And this is very much like my favorite fittings, my shark bite fittings that I use at home. Pretty much very similar, actually, now that I think about it. And so there's a bunch of, so the the Legris fitting is made by some other, a certain company. We use SMC fittings. This is very similar to Swage Lock versus Gyro, Grylock. Grylock or Parker. Or Parker, yeah. Parker makes them. Parker Um, makes them. So all these, they just, they're they're very similar uh, fittings. They do the same exact thing essentially, but they have their own ways of doing them. And whether it's better or not better, depending on the company, is probably up to personal preference. And so, and so... Yeah, so our company uses SMC fittings, not Legris, but so if you prefer uh, Legris, then... Um, You're going to have to wait a little longer. Wait a little longer we to get the, it. We have those in stock. Or, or one other thing you can always do, you can always send us the fitting you want to put on, too. That's always, if, say, you have it in stock and it's taken us 10 weeks to get it, you can always send it to us and we can yeah. put it on as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. so that's that. And you'd order the regulator. How would you order the regulator if you wanted to have that fitting on there? Mm-hmm. How oh. would you order it? Oh, 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 if you want this fitting on there? A dash S regulator. Yeah, dash S yeah. regulator. That's our way of doing modified pressure regulators. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. So, yeah, so it's been, yeah. You don't have that fitting in the online store, but uh, you can order modified regulators. Yeah. Talk to one of our salespeople and yeah. ver- you know when they can put it in, they'll just manually type it in and yeah. we'll make it happen. I'll take. I'll take care of it.